back to Foresight TV with me, Isma. Concerns about potential job losers have sparked criticism from workers' unions, leading to ongoing protests against Tata Steel in the UK. Tata Steel, an Indian-based company, operates the largest steel works in the UK, employing around 8,000 people. As a part of its effort to reduce carbon emissions, the company is transitioning from the blast furnace route to the low-emission electric arc furnace process. Here's a special report from Foresight TV. Tata Steel CEO TV Narendran acknowledged that approximately 2,500 jobs would be lost due to this transition, prompting dissatisfaction from unions. Despite ongoing conversations with the unions to mitigate the impact, Narendran stated that job losses were inevitable. The shift towards the electric arc furnace process is supported by a joint investment plan totaling £1.25 billion, with the UK government contributing £500 million. This investment aims to implement decarbonization organization initiatives at Tata Steel Sport Talbot Steel Making Facility. The transition to electric arc furnace production is seen as a strategic move to utilize the UK's abundance of steel scrap, reducing the reliance on imported iron ore and coal. Narendran emphasized that the shift would enhance competitiveness and lead to significant cost reductions, potentially making the UK business cash neutral. However, challenges remain as the company faces financial losses, with a significant decline reported in its consolidated net profit for the January-March quarter of 2023 and 2024. As Tata Steel's effort to decarbonize its operations in the UK come amid significant challenges including job losers and financial pressures, the company's transition to electric arc furnace production is viewed as a critical step towards reducing carbon emissions and enhancing competitiveness in the steel industry. However, ongoing protest and criticism from the workers' union highlight the social and economic complexities associated with such transitions. As Tata Steel aims to complete its decarbonization journey in the next three years, it will face continued scrutiny and challenges in balancing environmental objectives with economic viability and social responsibility. That's all for today. Thanks for watching Foresight TV with me, Esma.